Hello, good morning, we're in Cyprus. Ta-da! Um, yeah, we actually got here yesterday. Um, oh, sorry, I'm gonna have to tidy it up a little bit. Um, yeah, we got here yesterday. I didn't film yesterday because just absolutely exhausted. You know what it's like, I got up at, um, well, no, I didn't get up. Our flight was at 6.30 yesterday morning. So I'd actually been up since 6 a.m. the previous day. Probably slept about two hours on the flight. Um, so basically in about 36 hours, I probably had maybe three hours altogether sleep. So it's pretty exhausted. So what we did yesterday, we got here at like one o'clock their time, 11 o'clock our time. Um, came to the apartment, obviously. Uh, had a little lay down, didn't, didn't, had a teeny tiny sleep, but not much. Um, and then what did we do? Just kind of had a little wander around the area. Walked to the beach is just, or one of the beaches is just over the road. So we went there, walked along to, um, there's like a lighthouse, saw the lighthouse. Didn't get that close to it, but we saw the lighthouse. Um, and yeah, then just went out for some food and wandered back and that was it. And we're probably in bed by, probably it's probably about half eight Cypriot time, which would have been half six hour time. Um, had a good night's sleep, got up about, I think Bob got up about seven, I got up about half seven. And I actually did my exercises on holiday. I was so, so amazed with myself, I'm gonna try and carry on do that. Cause I do feel, um, you know, obviously I'm not a fitness guru. I'm not pretending to be like, you know, the fittest person in the world, but I just do 15 minutes every morning. And when I do do it, and I try to do it every day, but I got out of the habit a little bit, but I've got back into it now. Um, I ju it just gives me energy. I just feel good for it. So, anyway, but well, boring, I know. But anyway, I've done that. Um, I think the time is now about nine o'clock. Bob's in the shower, so I thought that'd be a good time to show you the apartment. Now, I will say, both me and Bob are very messy people. I have had a little bit of a tiny around now. So, we're literally here for like two minutes, and the place is already a mess, unfortunately. But anyway, I'll give you a little tour, apart from the bathroom, obviously. So, here is the front door that looks quite messy on camera doesn't it, it doesn't it in real life uh so here's the front door you walk in little dining area living room little kitchen that's the bathroom here is our bedroom lots of wardrobe space bob hates these wardrobes <laughs> like look at them i don't i don't really i'm not a fan of the wallpaper mind but there we go there's the bedroom there's the balcony i'll show you that from the other side oh i think bob's going out the bathroom so let's quickly get around before he walks out and neck it um here we go a little living room area i tell you what it's not easy exercising on this tiles floor and then here is the balcony and there was the bedroom doors hammock and there we go <laughs> there's my shorts that i did exercise in this morning i washed them in the shower with it and if you can see there is the sea see the sea there we go and there's lots of little birdies that come up here which has been lovely that's what Bob was doing this morning watching them so they're a little apartment shall I do a little outfit of the day although it's not as warm as it was meant to be before we got here and the temperature shall I close that is it a bit loud the temperature was saying like 21, 22, bright sunshine. And now that we've got here, obviously that's changed. It's gone to like cloudy and um, I don't know, it felt about 15 yesterday, it's quite cool. And I've like got summer dresses and stuff. I don't have loads for bad weather. Chili peppers are playing in the background, probably gonna get demonetized. Never mind, who cares? Um, anyway, um, here is today's outfit of the day. Oh, I don't think there's a good way to show this, is there? Anyway, you've seen this outfit a billion times. It's this skirt with the slit. Uh, I do have my flip flops on, but I'm gonna put my trainers on. Uh, and this white top. Um, I've got a denim jacket to wear, but I'm actually thinking I might put a jumper on instead or as well. Uh, and today we're just gonna kind of have a wander around. I'm gonna go and see some, like the tombs and stuff like that. Um, yeah, first of all, I'm gonna go to the supermarket because um, we need milk. I've just had black coffee this morning, which I had brown with, but um do you need some milk okay we're back from our shopping um bob's laughing at me for doing a, a haul on holidays like are you seriously yeah i am all right uh, also he's quite hungry so i think he wants me to hurry up anyway here 
Okay, sorry, Bob absolutely had to have a coffee right then and there. So, right, anyway, he's got his coffee. He's out there on the balcony. Toilet roll. Pack of cookies. Some brunch bars. Uh, some pickled, what are they, gherkins. For Bob. Some crisps. We are presuming they're like cheese and chives. We shall see. Um, some barbecue crisps. Some strawberry yogurts, bananas, um, four apples, they look like nice apples, don't they? I thought. Two things, cartons of milk, some juice, we got fruit and barley, orange, uh, a big bottle of 7-Up. Some cereal, I'll have yoghurt with that. And, oh, Bob got himself a bounty bar. And we got a pack of those three in here. Croissants, um, I'm gonna have one of them now, and a coffee and probably a banana. Um, yeah, so that was everything. It felt like we got more than that. It felt like a lot to carry home. But anyway, there we go, done. I'm gonna go and join Bob on the balcony for a croissant and coffee.
the time is about nine o'clock uh, we've been out well almost all day um we went down to the harbour um <laughs> i really don't like this wallpaper uh, we went down to sorry if you've got this uh just personal preference um we yeah went down to the harbour we we're gonna go to the mosaic things and um, but we decided we we're gonna do that tomorrow so we went to pavos castle uh, castle as you saw and then went and had some food along the front there that was nice lovely um and then we walked back to the apartment uh is that all we did why did that take so long yeah and then we walked back to the apartment um because we we're passing anyway i can't remember what we were to get but anyway while we we're here we just kind of freshened up a little bit i put a jumper on because it got a bit chilly and then we walked up to the old town um and just yeah walked a lot we have done a lot a lot of walking today and um, had food in the old town it's really nice up there um and then yeah my feet are absolutely killing me so we went to the supermarket to see if we could get some like foot masks um but they're like 650 here or at least ones that they only had like two types but they're both 650 whereas at home they're like 99p aren't they so as much as my feet are absolutely throbbing and they had no like foot cream or anything Again, maybe it was just that supermarket. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to come home and put a foot mask on. But anyway, what we are doing, it's about nine o'clock now, I don't know if I said that, but I think we're both still pretty tired from the travel day. So we have been to the supermarket, bought a bottle of wine, and we're going to play um, Monopoly Deal, is it? The card game, uh, which we've become quite addicted to. So yeah, come home, got my dressing gown on, have a glass of wine. Oh, we've got some chocolate as well, but... I think Bob's eating most of that already. Good morning, day two of our holiday, or day, full day, you know what I mean. Um, yes, it's about, I don't know what time it is. I'm gonna say, when is this one Half 10, I'm gonna say. Um, I think he's got his phone with him. Anywho, no, his phone's here. I'll say, are you bothered about what time it is? Absolutely not. The time is 20 past 10. There's the start of the day. Um, yeah, today we're going to go down to the mosaics, and it's like a, from what I can gather, it's a like naturey place and stuff like that. So Bob absolutely loves nature. So, um, like I do too, of course, but like he really does. Um, so my feet are absolute agony. <laughs> um, Bob gave me a foot massage last night, which was lovely, and then this morning he's like made me coffee and like made sure I don't move too much and stuff like that like save my feet um I don't know why they're so bad but they are so today I'm actually gonna wear my walking boots I think um I don't know if it's because excuse the day socks on the floor I don't know if it's because I haven't worn them shoes for quite a while or something um I don't know but oh oh they hurt so bad um so yeah, we brought our walking boots, or I did, because we do want to do some walking. We're going to hire a car and go to the Trudos Mountains and stuff. Um, but yeah, so not ideal. So today I'm going to wear my walking boots. I'll show you what I'm wearing today. This wasn't a planned outfit. Now I have brought like all kind of short, thin summer dresses to wear. It is so blooming windy. There is nowhere to tie my skirt yesterday. So I'm wearing my jeans, which are just meant to be my travel jeans this jumper as you can see um, and I've got this vest on underneath which I don't really want to have to take the jumper off because this looks like I'm looks a bit like I'm naked doesn't it um, or does it not I don't know so anyway there we go that's today's outfit um, and yeah also these are really the only thing I can wear my walking boots with apart from that I've got my walking leggings as well anyway I'm being so incredibly boring right we're going to go down to the mosaic place
Atreus as the central figure preparing to kill the Minotaur in the labyrinth. Detailed, isn't it? gone into this cave. <laughs> it's tiny. <laughs> He's gone on his hands and knees with his torch. So I'm just going to sit out here in the sun and if he's not out in 10 minutes I'm going to presume he's dead. He survived. He got out of the cave but now he's gone on a little chameleon hunt down there. He just said something. Um, because I'm just enjoying sitting in the sun and feeling relaxed. Full of little mazes, you just don't know where you're gonna end up. It's so cool. Okay, we have finished at the what do they call it? The archaeological site, I think they call it. Look at this. This is like a hotel or something. This isn't anything to do with the archaeological site. Um, yeah, so that was good. We were in there for a good few hours, and it was. I think it was, yeah it was, it's four euros fifty each. I think it was good, yeah, it was, it was really interesting. And I only filmed, that was probably really quite long and boring for you, but um, I only filmed like a tiny bit of it. There was loads to see. Um, so yeah, interesting. Hello, good evening. Time is now about half past seven. And um, we are just going out for the evening, so we just had a chilled day, or chilled afternoon, should I say, in the apartment, which was nice. And uh, yeah, now we're just going out for dinner. We're just going to stay local, not going too far because uh, we would like to get up early tomorrow. Um, so yeah, we'll just stick to one of the local restaurants today, but I thought I'd do a little outfit of the evening. Are you interested? I don't know. But here we are. It's not the best uh, place to show. Stay there. As far back as I can. Here's the outfit of the evening. Um, this top was from uh, when we went to Glasgow, it's from H&M. Uh, I've never worn it before because obviously it's been far too cold. It probably is tonight, to be honest. Uh, trousers are from Sheehan and my trainers. Um, yeah, and it's like got a like semi-open back kind of thing. And then the leather jacket, because as I say, it's not actually that warm. Right, we'll see you in the morning. Good morning. Uh, so today we've hired a car, um, which is exciting, a little bit nerve wracking, uh, but we've just stopped off because we saw this beautiful blue sea. <laughs> um, so yeah, we just stopped off here, but we're on our way to go and do a walk. Let me get in the car because then you might, might be able to hear me a bit better. Um, yeah, so we're going to go to go and do a walk at the gorge uh, so I'm very much looking forward to that um, very tired I didn't really sleep last night um, for various reasons but anyway here comes Bob also this morning when we were just waiting at the car hire place uh, I sat outside on the chair and this cat like literally jumped on the table next to it and climbed up me it was so cute uh, but it's pulled my oh, I don't think you see it now here, it's pulled my jumper. But never mind, it's very cute.
it's okay. Nope. Um, hello, we're here at this shipwreck. <laughs> uh, we've just um, been and done a big walk at the gorge, which was absolutely lovely. And then we stopped off and saw some tunes, which were really cool. And then we came to watch the sunset here, as you saw, which is also very cool. We've had a jam-packed day. Um, but yeah, look how cool that is and how close we are to it. Um, but yeah, I'm absolutely shattered now. It's only about quarter past six, I think. Uh, I think we're just going to have tea in the apartment today, tonight, and have a night in, um, have a shower, go to bed. <laughs> Hello, good morning. Uh, we're out and about, obviously, as you can see. Look how beautiful. We've come on another, another bit of a hike. We are parked, I think it's called Lachi, is it? Um, it's about an hour away from Paphos where we're staying. Um, and uh, yeah, so we walk into. Uh, the Blue Lagoon, apparently it's not really passable in car, I don't think from what we could gather, so we parked down there and I think, if I remember rightly, it's about an hour's walk, maybe an hour and a half, maybe, I don't know, but anyway, here we are.
We made it to the Blue Lagoon. Look how absolutely stunning. We think probably most people around there because that's where like the folks drop people off. Uh, but we found this little bay that no one else is in. I don't think there's loads of people around anyway. Um, Bob is going in the sea. I have my um, swimming costume on under here, but I'm not brave. <laughs> I'm, such a, I'm quite chilly now, sat here, even though I know it's not that chilly, but I am such a wimp when it comes to cold water. Oh, I'm just watching him like, oh. Um, so yeah, I think I'll just sit on the side. I have taken my boots off, thank, thank the Lord. Um, and I might, might go and put my feet in, possibly. I know like people find that really refreshing. I do not, I really hate cold water. Hello, good evening. Um, yeah, time is about, I think it's about 10 past eight now. Um, yeah, we got back about seven o'clock. We've been walking all day again today. Big, big walks we've been having, um, but lovely. We went to the Blue Lagoon, as you saw them, we went off on like a nature trail type walk. Um, so yeah, really, really nice. And then we had a little ice cream at the end of it. Um, our first ice cream of the holiday. Uh, Bob went in the water. I've told you this, haven't I? You saw this. Um, I did not. I didn't even dip my feet in in the end. Um, I did, however, have to wear my flip-flops on the way back up. And, um, yeah, because my feet were just hurting so bad. And Bob carried my walking boots for me, which is very kind of him. Um, for no reason other than just being a giant. Uh, anyway, so we got back here about 7 o'clock. Sorry, I'm trying not to... Bob keeps telling me off for showing mess. It's a mess. We're on our holidays. Cheers. I'm having these cocktail things. I've just had a mojito, a mojito and then now this one. They're not very nice. <laughs> but oh well. <laughs> well, they're all right. They're just very, very sweet. But that's what you expect from that kind of thing, isn't it? Especially like cheaper ones, which they were, which is why I got them. Um, yeah, anyway, we got back about seven o'clock. Both pretty tired. So we've just quickly had showers. Um, and then we're just going to... Keep it local again today. I think we're just going to go for a curry down the road. Like it's, it's literally just not far away at all. So anyway, I thought I'd come on and do a little outfit of the evening. If you're interested, I don't know. I like seeing what people wear. So I'll just show it anyway. Not that, you know, I'm not exactly a fashionista, but, you know, I just thought I'd show. Stay an hour. Here is tonight's outfit. So this top was from Asda quite a long time ago, a good few years ago. Um, and then these trousers are from Sheen, they're the same as my black ones. And then I've got my white trainers on. Hang on a minute, let me get the trainers off. Oh, my socks fallen off, hang on. There we go. Uh, and I'm going to put my leather jacket on. I would wear my denim jacket, but I left it in the car, which is downstairs. So there we go. Right. Let's go and have some dinner and probably some drinks. Good morning. Um, the time is about half past eight. I think we were aiming to be out for about eight, but you know, that's uh, typical of us. Um, Today we are heading to the Trudos Mountains, so I'm kind of wearing warmer clothes today. I've got a hoodie and jumper and stuff in my bag as well. Um, because I don't think it's going to be warm. Um, but yeah, we're just kind of making it up as we go. We don't have any definite plans. I don't, I don't think I don't think we came to any conclusion last night. So we're just heading in that direction. It's about an hour, um, hour, hour and a half away, depending on you know which bit we're going to um so yeah another full day of walking i think 
Um, but we'll just we'll just do what we could. I say we. It's it's me that's holding us back because, like I say, my feet have just been agony this this whole holiday, which is such a shame. I don't know what's going on. It feels like my boots have got like three size smaller or something. And my trainers, not not just my boots. Maybe my feet have got three size bigger. I don't know. Um, but anyway, I will travel in my flip flops. Put my boots on when we get there. I'm not sure why I've put my socks on. I don't think I'll be uh, wearing my socks and my flip flops. But anyway. I'm going to travel in my flip flops to my boots. Blah, blah, blah. So that is today's plans. Hopefully another lovely day because we have had some really, really lovely, lovely days. I, mean, I don't mean weather-wise. I mean like we've just done some really nice things, did some really nice things. It's been, it's been a good holiday. Last night, by the way, we went uh, to an Indian restaurant. We just went because, well, we fancied it, but also it's like, I don't know, a few doors down. Um, we were really tired. We didn't want to go very far. Uh, anyway, this Indian restaurant, it's one of them that like it doesn't it doesn't look anything special. Um, it didn't look bad, it just didn't look, you know, wasn't all like, you know, some of the restaurants look lovely, don't they? All fairy lights and, you know, quite often a pretty standard one she like eat there. But this Indian food, oh my gosh, it is so nice. It's definitely by far the nicest meal that we've had, I think. I think Bob thinks too. Um, we both had the vegetable masala. Um, and also what was really good about it is you could choose the size of small or large. <laughs> Can you hear me? Um, which is great because they're both saying like when you eat out and when you're on holiday you tend to eat out most days and nights, don't you? The portions are so massive and you just end up eating it and then you just feel like, oh. Um, so that was fantastic. So we both chose a small and then we got one rice to share and one naan bread to share and it was just like the perfect amount of food. It was really, really nice. Um, I'd happily go back there again and have exactly the same meal again, actually. Um, yeah, so that was lovely, really lovely. Uh, we didn't end up going out afterwards. There's no like, I don't know if it's just because it's March, it's not the season, but there's hardly anybody like in the restaurants and bars and so, well, we can't, well, there's a bar directly across, but all the rest of them seem to be restaurants as well. Um, now yeah, there is a bar directly across. It looks a bit like I don't think you'll be able to see it here, yeah, this yellow one. But that looks a bit more like a sports bar type thing. Not sure. But yeah, there's nobody. There's nobody, no kind of nightlife around here. But like I so said, maybe it's just the season. But don't matter because we're knackered anyway. Right, let's see if we're ready. So today 
it's the day that we've come without any sandwiches <laughs> the day that we've come into the mountains we're out of season when everything's closed uh, but anyway we've just been driving along and we haven't seen anybody or anything for ages we've gone through these little villages and stuff um, but anyway we just got to this bit where there's a restaurant and there's people in it there's quite a few cows so i don't know why they all seem to be like local cows not like higher cows or anything so we shall go and try this restaurant dinner in that cafe it's really nice actually um and then we have just driven to the top of mount olympus or as far as i can get then it gets to like a military base but there isn't even a sign or anything so we're like oh we'll just get a picture of the sign and then come back because it's actually free it is so cold and it's a bit rainy and drizzly and yeah like freezing freezing cold um stopped off at that viewpoint which is lovely um although very misty can you hear the wind? It's really windy. Anyway, we've just pulled up now. Bob's just gone to read a sign, basically. Um, but yeah, so yeah, it's been a good day. We haven't done lots of walking today at all. We've driven a lot um, and just stopped off at various viewpoints, really. But um, yeah, that has done my feet the world of good. This is a very foot heavy vlog, isn't it? It's meant to be a Cypress heavy vlog. <laughs> Spoke more about my feet than I have the actual holiday, haven't I? Uh, yeah, so. Yeah, we'll just carry on doing much of the same on the way down, stopping off at viewpoints, etc. I'm ready to get back into a little bit of... the apartment now it's about half past nine i think i don't know what time we got back but um yeah both really tired even though we haven't really yeah like i said we haven't done much walking today it's been a lot of drive i wasn't driving um but for whatever reason just quite tired but it's been another lovely day again as you know we went to the trudos mountains to various viewpoints to mount olympus to lots of little villages in the mountains which are so cute and then called back at Aphrodite's Rock. And then we're trying to find a supermarket to get like a sandwich for tomorrow. Um, and I fancied some alcohol. Um, surprise, surprise. But today is, a, 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 I guess it's bank holiday. It's um, a Greek independence day. Um, I think that's right. So yeah, a lot of things have been like bank holiday opening times um so we couldn't find a supermarket we went to a few different ones we did go to one but it's more like a bit of a, a waitrose type one that's what we like and it too i don't know if that's what it was well it wasn't that but you know it was a bit posh for one thing we didn't have ready made sandwiches and then the alcohol i nearly got some and um and then i was like oh no i'll get it at the next supermarket because this is a bit pricey but the next supermarket or any after that were not open so never mind it doesn't matter it's not the end of the world we did however go a lot of people would love this it was our kind of worst nightmare we went into this the shopping center next to us has this what i would say is like home bargains or a b&m cypriot version of um but oh my god it was absolutely huge and it only had like not one way it wasn't a one-way system but like I can't really explain it, it was like a maze. You couldn't just like nip in and out of the aisles. You had to go up to the top of the aisle and down. Um, yeah, and then upstairs and the entrance down to the exit was upstairs and we were in there for bloody ages. But I did manage to find a foot mask because I've been really, really struggling to find. Well, the ones I have seen have been like £6.50, €6.50. So anyway, got one for me and Bob and some foot cream. 
at long last. Um, yes, that was good. And then also we didn't want to eat a meal tonight because we we're still full from the cafe um, this afternoon because it's a big meal. I don't know if you saw Bob's pork chop, but it was bloody huge. I had a burger. Well, actually we split it half and half. Um, so anyway, I didn't want tea, so I just wanted some snacks, and that's what we went into the B&M place for. Um, Bob was absolutely insistent he didn't want anything, so I got these, and I was saying, are you sure you don't want anything? And we got some chocolate as well. Are you sure you don't want anything? No, no, I don't want anything, blah, blah, blah. So I've been trying to wait for him to go in the shower before I open them, because I just knew if I well when I opened them, he'd start, he'd want them. So I've just been sat here patiently waiting for him to go in the shower. And uh, anyway, he's like, oh, you're going to open them, I'm like, no, because I'm waiting for you to go in the shower so I don't have to share. Uh, but anyway, I did open them. And sure enough, he's eating some of them. Rude. So I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll eat some of his chocolate. Um, it's all melted. <laughs> this is the chocolate that he got. But nothing. It's really nice. <laughs> anyway. That's tonight. We'll be doing foot mass. Have a, uh, planning what we're doing tomorrow because we don't have a clue what we're doing tomorrow. And um, yeah, early night.